こんにちは。こんにちは。バイリンガルニュースでは日本語と英語でニュースを紹介しています。その後にマイケルは英語で、私は日本語でバイリンガル会話形式でコメントしていきます。文字起こしのテキストや各エピソードごとの宿題は番組公式アプリをチェックしてみてください。公式サイトバイリンガルニュース .jp のストアに新しい商品デーダラ T シャツを追加したのでそちらもぜひチェックお願いします,します1個目サイエンスアドバンスに掲載されたカリフォルニア大学リバーサイド校の研究で4億5000万年前の海に生息していた山陽虫が実は足で呼吸していたことを示す証拠が初めて発見されました山陽虫は2億5000万年もの間絶滅せずに生き延びた生き物です今回の研究では保存状態の良好な個体を使い CT スキャンで大鉄鋼と周りを覆っている岩の密度の差を読み取ることで化石を掘り起こさずに山陽虫の 3D モデルを作成することに成功しました山陽虫は足が上部と下部で二重についていますが上部の足の構造を観察するとカニやロブスターのエラの構造に近いものが存在しており足を動かすことで酸素を取り入れていたことが分かりました。In a paper published in Science Advances, researchers at California University Riverside High School discovered evidence that trilobites, which lived in the ocean some 450 million years ago, breathed through their legs. Trilobites lived for 250 million years before going extinct. In the study, the researchers CT scanned a high quality specimen which enabled them to detect the differences in density and generate an accurate 3D model without breaking the surrounding rock. Trilobite legs have an upper and lower part. The upper part of the legs are structured like crab or lobster gills, enabling them to collect oxygen by moving their legs. Yeah, high school, じゃないけどね <laughs> Oh, I thought it was high school. No, Riverside. Cool. えー、と、山陽虫多分学校でみんな習ったと思うけどおなじみのあの何ダンゴムシっぽい感じのね、うん、見た目のやつで、まあ、人類が数十万年、まあ、祖先も全部入れて600万年とか地球上に暮らしていて、まあ、恐竜が1億6000万年とかなので。山陽虫の2億5000万年っていうのは、まあ、進化的な意味では大成功を収めた大先輩的な<笑>存在なわけだけど、まあ、今回そのすごいいっぱいあのドリリングとかをすることなく 3D モデルを作ることによって、まあ、人間の髪の毛の10分の1ぐらいの細さの、まあ、顕微鏡でも見るのが難しいような小さい構造を細かく見ることができたっていう。うんでエボリューショナリー・トリーで言うとだから古い節足動物と甲殻類の間になるのかなだから今までは甲殻類の足と比較されてきたんだけれども、まあ、現代の甲殻類はもちろん足にエラーはついてないので、まあ、当然そういう違いがあるよねっていう面白くない for them, to, for them to survive for that long, they had to live through at least two major Mass extinction events, also. Yeah.、Um, and then I guess the third one killed all of them. Yeah.、Um, but I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, h o n t o n i s u g o y o Ningen wa hatashi doko ma de ikeru no ka, ma dare ni mo akan nai kedo. Ne, lopek man nen to ni oku gose man nen de wa s u g o sa ga aru no de. There are so many fossils of these things all over the world. Yeah, so, And so. they've discovered over 20,000 or so species of these、yeah. trilobites, and they're all different sizes. Some of them are like a millimeter, and some of them are like、huge. several <laughs> feet, like huge. Yeah. And the reason why they find so many fossils is because they would,、um, what do you call it, molt their exoskeleton. So they would actually shed their exoskeleton, you know, like, like a lot of insects do. So、mm. that's actually just their exoskeleton that's left there. And the, that leftover exoskeleton is what's i being fossilized.
most of the mm. time, not the actual animal. Right. So there's ah, like so, so, so. there's a disproportionate number of fossils of these things. So so, だからその今言ったみたいに脱皮した殻はいっぱいあるんだけどその soft part が残ってる化石っていうのは本当に今まで数十個とかしか見つかってなくて、まあ今回使ったのもそのうちの一つらしいんだけど。その面白いなと思ったのがその足で息するのはいいんだけどその場所なんていうの山陽虫が海底をこう這いつくばって多分暮らしてたって考えられてるのでその結構、堆積物で詰まりやすくなっちゃうんじゃないかっていうその地面に近いところにそのエラがついちゃってるからだからなんでそこにエラがあったのかなって。っていうのをまあこのチームの人も疑問として提示していてそれは当然答えが分かんないんだけどね。Is there anything else that breathes through its legs? Or is this a first? I mean, did, わかんない、聞いたことない。No, it wasn't. ただその虫とか、まあ、甲殻類とか今。存在してる生き物で多分同じような構造を持ってるっていうのはいないんだと思うんだよね。Well, there are,、um, I guess it's called trachea breathing in insects, where they have these strange structures along their body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they, if the CO2 level in their body gets too high, these little Vents open、mm. and it lets the CO2 out. Yeah. Takes in some oxygen. So, like, Mushi wa karada ni ne, so yu ana ga ai te te kiko mi tai na? Eki shite ritu ka. Kani to ka, tabun. Nani? Ashi no chikaku? Kono shi, onaka ga ano shitan toko ni, era ga tsui te ritu ka? Ti no aru ke do. So, no, ashi ga mazu ni ju no kozo ni natte te, so no ue ga wa de. 息をしてるっていうのは結構不思議というか<笑>どういうなんかその上側の足を何に使ってたのかっていうのは今までそのなんか掘ったりとか泳いだりとかに使ってるんじゃないかって言われてたらしいんだよねだからそういうふうに使ってた可能性もあるよねその息するだけじゃなくてただどうなんだろうね、um, How are the legs Can you describe how the legs are arranged? The, is there an An upper and lower leg, or the leg has parts to it, or it's kind of like, こういうこと、um, <laughs> 上側に足がついてて、お腹側にも足が生えてるみたいな。Okay. 多分なんかこう二重になってんだよね。Right. そうそう。で下側の足にはその呼吸する構造はついてないから単にこう。はいつくばって歩く、okay. まあ虫みたいな感じ。その上側にピロピロってまた足がついて。And where on the legs is it, are these located? Do you know? No. なんかね、あれが、何その図解みたいなのがあんまなかったんだよね。うん。だその足、えー、っとね。Let me pull it up. Yes, I think, first of all, I don't really know how s a n y o c h u Works? <laughs> Works, do you got? So, she could be got much, you could got the nine, like, so, 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 The Kabutogani is probably the closest.、Uh, Kabutogani has been around forever, too, right? Yeah.、Hmm. Yeah.、And、people eat the eggs of Kabutogani. Hmm. Yeah, so it says, so no, gills no shikumi to shite wa ima no kani to ka lobster to hobo onaji mita no koto kai te. I don't really know what those are like either, though. Yeah, me neither. Tada, da, kara, basho, tsui te ru basho ga chigao da ke de, kozo jitai ga me chak cha chigao ti wa ke de a nai poi ne. So they are a gill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type thing. 
、そう、エラ、完全にエラ、エラがだから足についているっていう。そう、it's different than the, the trachea、uh, spiracles on insects. I, yeah. Yeah,、mm. insects は、そうね。で、気候とエラの違いってことだよね。But this is an insect, right? It's between insect an... and、uh, 甲殻類。But it's an Ar- arthropod, right? Arthropod. It's not a,、yes. a crustacean or whatever. It's like in between. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hmm. It's a little bit of a question. 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 Apparently, there were. Or there are. I don't know if they, there still are, but there were Native American tribes that would. Wear fossils of trilobites、mm-hmm. as like an amulet, and they it had like superpowers. What did they think it was? Did they know that it was a fossil of some creature, or、um, I don't know specifically,、mm-hmm. but I think the language they used to describe it described it as like a bug inside of rocks. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is sort of a literal. <laughs> Yeah. まあまあそうだよね。虫にしか見えないもんね。なんか今でこそ海にいた生き物って分かってるからそういう目で化石も見ちゃうけど、化石だけ見ると本当にダンゴムシでしかないっていうか。<笑> They would actually roll up into a ball, trilobites. あ、そうなんだっけ Yeah.、うん、Or some of them would. I don't know if all of them, all of them did that.、うん Did you know that、oh. frogs can breathe through their skin? I think so. I actually have been learning a lot about random animals because now I have a son and we have this National Geographic Zukang.、Mm-hmm. And it has like all kinds of random facts about random animals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think frogs are one of the only things that can,、uh, only animals that can breathe through their skin. skin.、Hmm. But they actually they have nostrils, they have a nose, right? Right. So frogs can also just breathe normally, like a person, like through their、hmm. nose. But they can also breathe through their skin. I think tadpoles can too. Or any,、oh. not any, but、uh, um, a lot of amphibians can breathe through their skin. They have a weird skin. Yeah. So, I don't know. Next, Journal of Pain. In the case of the Miami Diagnostic Center, the woman and the woman are in the same way. The woman is 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 in 実験では200人の被験者に性別に関するステレオタイプのアンケートを実施した上で実際に肩を負傷している患者が肩を動かして痛みを確認したり痛みの度合いを説明している動画を見せて0から100までの痛みのスコアやどういった治療を進めるかを答えてもらいましたチームは事前に顔認識コーディングシステムで動画に出てくる患者の顔の筋肉の動きを分析し痛みの度合いを客観的にスコア付けしましたその結果女性は男性より大げさであり男性はストイックであるなど性別に関するステレオタイプに影響を受けている人ほど男性の痛みを過大に評価し女性の痛みを歪償化する傾向にあり痛みの度合いの捉え方が患者の性別によって異なっていましたまたこれは被験者自身が男性でも女性でも見られる傾向でした In a paper published in Journal of Pain, researchers at Miami University found that when men and women experience the same level of pain, women's pain was interpreted as less. Leading to more frequent psychotherapeutic prescriptions than for men. In the experiment, 200 subjects responded to a survey about gender stereotypes and watched a video featuring a patient discussing their shoulder pain. The subjects were asked to rate the person's, level,、uh, person's pain level and recommend treatment. The team previously used an AI to analyze the pain expressions of the people in the video. In conclusion, the researchers found that subjects who had indicated stereotypical 
sentiments, such as that women express pain more or that men are stoic, had a tendency to discount the pain expressed by women. This was true regardless of the gender of the subject. So, だから答えている被験者自身が男性でも女性でも同じようにステレオタイプに影響を受けているだからつまり男性だけが持っているステレオタイプってわけじゃなくて男女ともに社会自体が共有しているステレオタイプってことだよね、うん、でだから男性はあまり感情を表に出さないとか女性は大げさだって一般化して思い込んでる人は男性がちょっとでも痛いって言うとあもう死にそうに痛いに違いないって判断しちゃうし女性が痛いって言うとまたまた大げさなみたいな感じに<笑>、well, the isn't that large. 反,応反応してしまうっていう。Yeah. How large is the difference, though? I don't know. ただその one unit ごとに痛みの表現が increase するとしたらそれの評価の度,度合いが男女で結構違うみたいな。ただそ,のそういうステレオタイプがある一方で出産もあるし女性は痛みに強いはずとか痛みに我慢できるはずっていうステレオタイプもあるので女性にとっては結構ダブルバインド状態なんだよね、うん、多分だ今週まさにツイッターですごい話題になってたけど日本では婦人科系の検査とか検診とか不妊治療っていうのが。まあ、なぜか無麻酔で激痛のものがちょっと多すぎると麻酔なしがスタンダードなものもあれば麻酔のオプションが実はあるのにお医者さんとか病院によってはそれが提示されない場合がある、うん、だからこう痛くないとされてるんだけど実際やるとくっそ痛いみたいなのが結構あって、うん、もう私個人もその子宮頸がんの政権無麻酔で肉をちょっとちぎるみたいなのもやったし、まあ、不妊治療で警官に子宮警官にカメラを通したり、まあ、それが通らなくて後日、ラミナリアっていうこの金銀の棒みたいなやつでその警官を無麻酔で拡張するとかもうそれ激痛で私、子供みたいに泣いちゃったんだけど、まあ、出産もねその、まあ、出産自体もそうだしその直後に。こう縁縫合したり抜歯したりとかも全部無麻酔だったりして。So it's it's feasible or it's is it、uh, they could be doing anesthetic for these for these procedures? うんできる場合もあるしできない場合もあるんだろうけどその。確かに痛いんですよでも麻酔しないメリットの方が大きいからしないんですよとか、まあ、麻酔できない物理的な理由がちゃんとあるんですよっていうことなら説明してくれれば全然理解できるんだけどどれもこれもそもそも痛くないっていうことにされている違和感っていうのいや痛いけどっていうだから自分含めて多くの人が実際に経験した結果めちゃくちゃ痛いって言ってるのにいや痛くないんですよって言われる。この謎、うん、だそれがやっぱりこの婦人科系のフィールドでは飛び抜けてるなっていう印象が確かに個人的にもあるんだよねなんか大して痛くないから麻酔は必要ないプロセージャーなんですって聞いてたのに本当に人生で経験したことないくらいの激痛みたいな<笑>だからそれはやっぱりちょっとどうなんだろうと思うよね、まあ、だからすごいバイラルになって話題になったと思うんだけど。うん I think in Japan they, they are more reluctant to use anesthetics. Well, in general. Pain relievers yeah. in general.、Mm. Um, which changes people's preferences, you know. And, I mean, certainly if it's technically feasible and people are you know, willing to pay for it, it should be presented as an option. I mean,、yeah. whatever it is. うん、場合によってはその警官の方までぐりぐりされると出血したりとか結構本当に痛い内臓だからさ結構痛い場合もあってそれは女性医師で乱暴な人もいればすごい繊細で優しい男性のお医者さんとかもいて正直そのお医者さんの性別っていうのはあまり関係ないような気がしていて,なんていうのその共感できるから自分にもバジャイナついてるから優しくしてくれるとかついてないから優しくできないっていうのはあまり個人的には
感じたことなくてなんかこうただやっぱり物を膣に入れられることその不快感とかバイオレーションの感じなんかその人間って動物だから動物として膣に異物を入れられるっていうのはすごいリスクとか恐怖を感じるようにまあプログラムされてるわけじゃないそれ自体がそもそもディスカウントされちゃってるような感じもするしうんだからそのお医者さんの性別は別としてただ社会としてその男性社会っていう仕組みがある中でこれはちょっとどうなのかなって思うことは結構個人的にあるかな。Well, it's interesting that、um, this was observed to be、uh, a bias in, in women as well, just you know, men and women.、Um, and I think there has been a lot of research in the past that suggests that women have a higher sensitivity to pain, but they also have a higher threshold for pain. I mean, there are, other, you know, there are studies that contradict this also, but I think. The majority of studies suggest that women have a higher sensitivity to pain. It, it's also found that、um, people who are not athletes have a much higher sensitivity to pain. Because、hmm. um, athletes sort of push themselves into painful situations, and I don't know, maybe they adjust to it or something. But.、Mm. So, it's a bit of a question. Stereotype is not a question of the person. なんていうのそのだ男性社会っていうものがあってそこにみんなアダプトして生きてるわけだから逆に女性であることによって女性としてその中で生きてることによって他の女性により厳しくなっちゃうっていうこともあると思うんだよね、うん、なんか自分は我慢できるからなんでお前はできないんだみたいななんかわかるっていうのもあると思うしそう I don't know. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a social problem. There does seem to be some biological difference, and they speculate that it's due to sex hormones and I guess their role in、uh, opiate, some sort of endogenous opiate generation or something.、Um, and that's related, I guess, to pain sensitivity and、um, pain threshold. You know, so there's at what level do you register something as pain? And then at what level is pain sort of intolerable to yeah. you, right? And yeah. they've done this experiment with、uh, temperature,、um, having people put、right. their hand in like hot water or really cold water.、Um, but they've found that there's genetic differences in how we interpret temperature as pain, too. Um, particularly,、right. redheaded people、um, experience pain differently with regard to temperature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're more sensitive to temperature change. But, 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 医療機関で働いてる人なりが無意識に持ってると患者のクオリティオフライフももちろんそうだしその治療方針とかにも関わってきちゃうっていう、うん、でそれを患者自身も気づけないしもちろん分からないしそこでバイアスかけられちゃってることにしそのお医者さんたちも無意識でやってるから気づいてないしその結果として無駄にこう痛みを我慢そこまで本当は我慢する必要ないのに我慢させられてる女性っていうのがいっぱいいる可能性はあるよね、うん、だからまあそういうそうなった背景とか理由っていうのはいいか悪いかは別としてもちろんあって、まあ、なるべくしてこうなっちゃってるわけだからずすぐに全部改善っていうのはもちろん無理なんだけどただそのこういう状況があるっていうことを社会として。認知してほしいなと思う<笑>その婦人科系の話と合わせて、yeah. Well, even if, you know to, regardless of to what degree there might be a biological difference on average the variation between individuals is probably much greater Yeah, And so for if, sure you know, we, we don't we don't need to take you know 
any biological difference that might exist on average doesn't really need to, you know, inform our policy one way or the other. Or, you know, if it, if it gives us an impression of what is true about uh, men or women, then that's, and then you you carry that subconscious idea with you, then you're sort of exercising on a on a stereotype where it, I don't know. I think it more importantly there's greater variation between individuals. Yeah. You know, so that bias is more likely to cause a problem than to help uh, a For diagnosis. Sure. So, medical field ni okeru sono sebetsu bias. Na tateba sono kore made no kenkyu de danse o hikenshan shiteru mono no hoga atto teki ni oi toka ne. Dakara sono onaji ona あ、ま、ずっと それも多分お医者さんからするとまあ、父が一緒に行った時は超ニコニコしてめっちゃ丁寧なお医者さんなんだけど母しか行かないともう別人みたいなめちゃくちゃ態度悪いし意地悪みたいなでもそれは父からするとその差っていうのは見えないから見ようが
I don't know, back pain or neck pain or a lot of people have leg pain. Yeah. Um, まだその男性の方がサイコテラピーをそもそもアクセプトしないかもしれないっていうのもその提示する側にそもそもバイアスがまあチキンのエッグの問題になっちゃうけど提示する側にそもそもバイアスがあるからそういうのを女性ばっかりに進めがちみたいなその結果それをやるのが女性ばっかりになって余計こう男性は俺はやりたくないなみたいになるだろうしっていうこうどんどんどんどん再生産されて変わらなくなっちゃうわけだよねだからやっぱり大事なのはまあ今回の研究を見るとかもそうだけどそ,のそういうバイアスがあるっていうことをもうまず社会として認識することだと思うから,だからそれを認識することによって初めて乗り越えられるというか There's the bias but there's also some you know there's some reality there's some you know something's true Right. Yeah, but. So it if, may not necessarily be that strong of a bias, but it's still creating more of a bias. <laughs> yeah. By being I mean, there. Yeah. Because, I mean, if, if it is truly、um, beneficial for both genders, then, you know, both genders should try that. But, it's beneficial for individuals. Yeah,、right. but if you're not even offered this option because you're either of the gender, then,、mm. you know, it's not an option for you. So, yeah. That needs to change, I think. Yeah, the redhead thing is. is yeah, there was a new paper、um, that Recently, came out,、right? like, yeah, this week or last week, right? About the. その赤毛の人の方が痛みを感じにくいっていう。でも、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、そのアスティックは、Like 1.5 times more, or maybe more than that. It was like some crazy, like it really doesn't work for them. Like it always felt like I need more than normal amount, like、mm. at the dentist or before the surgery. I think.、Um, When I first started going to my current dentist, I was.、Um, I don't want to be judged. It's weird. Like, as a, as a guy, I don't want to be judged or look weak either. So、yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't, I don't need. The, the dentist asked me, oh, like, do you think you need Masui for this? And he's got like a drill ready, right? Yeah. And I'm, and I'm like, well, if he's asking, then maybe I don't need it. So I was like, no, I'm fine. And he starts, <laughs> he starts drilling on my teeth. And I'm like, holy crap. I'm like, Immediately, I'm just、hmm. soaked in sweat because I'm, I'm like hanging out getting my, my tooth drilled on. Isn't and, that kind、uh, of mizurashi for a dentist to ask you if you need it or not? I, I feel like usually <laughs> dentists will just tell you well, like, you will need this, period. Well, now it's at a point where sometimes he doesn't even ask. It's like because he like knows me、yeah. and I've already established <laughs> that I'm this, this guy that doesn't need that much masse, but I don't know if I like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe you don't. And maybe that's why you're talking I, about it now. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes it's like it's okay. But then there's、yeah. like this really sharp like、yeah. pain you feel for it's just for, a, it's just for a second. But it's like, whoa, like that, that, that was really sharp and intense.、Hmm. And, you know, you can like raise your hand at the dentist、yeah. if it starts getting crazy. So, yeah, so this I haven't like- raised my hand yet, but. This is, a, this is toxic masculinity, right? Like, you have to. No, I'm, to- to- I'm totally fine. This is just、uh, <laughs> something to talk about. <laughs> like, you have to act like you're totally fine when you're actually in pain. There's a weird thing. And with, that needs、um, to change, too. I want it to change for my son. Like, I never want him to feel like he has to act tough when he's actually in pain because that's just silly. <laughs> you have to act tough. People are going to kick your ass and pick on you. 
They smell not at weakness. the dentist. Not at the dentist. <laughs> Even at the dentist. They won't. They will not use it against you. So that's something guys, we need to teach our children. Guys you are know? guys are weird with with stuff like this. Like you know, I honestly, have, I, I I told you we used me and some of my friends used to punch each other in a circle, like yeah. in the arm, like, yeah. and then there's this knuckle flicking thing. And it, it's all about not showing weakness, not showing that you're feeling any pain, you know? Yeah. That's like, that's like a big deal for guys. Yeah, toxic tough. masculinity that needs to change. I mean, I feel like... I'm fine. I've been thinking about activism lately, and it's all about speed, right? It's all about asking for for a speedy change, <laughs> like... Hmm. Um, and it feels like I've been way, I, I would have been way more vocal about feminism if my child was a girl, you know what I mean? Like, it's all about speed. I want the society to change, but then, um, その speed をどれぐらいに設定してるかっていう、どれぐらいの speed を希望してるかっていう差だと思ってて、hmm. um, like people who are super vocal about it, they need the, the, the society to change now, right? Mm-hmm. And there are a lot of reasons for that. Maybe it's for themselves. Maybe it's for their daughter, you know. Um, uh. And I need the society to change too for myself and for my son. But, you know, I'm not in this super desperate mode because my child is not a girl. And that's a that's kind of depressing. I mean, <laughs> um, well, it's fine that your child's not a girl. It's easier for sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm well, serious. Are... I, I would be way more stressed out if my child was a girl, honestly, because I would mm. feel the need to change the society now. And I will be yelling with a picket sign outside on the street. <laughs> um, well, the, the speed thing is interesting and different cultures are ch- are changing at slightly different speeds and and i think there there is some there is some speed that the i guess middle of the population is willing to move at and then there's some speed that the slowest members of the population are willing to move at on any given issue yeah and and this and it's moving in in both directions on on various issues you know so the speed can also be dangerous そうそうそう。なんか本当にそれだなって最近ずっと考えてて、まあ環境問題にしてもそうだし、フェミニズムとかもそうだし、まあ夫婦別姓とか何でもそうなんだけど、結局そのスピードの問題で、だからアメリカとかで今のワクチンとか見てもそうだけど、もう決めたら今すぐ変えたいわけじゃん同性婚とかもそうだけど、こうしたいってなったらもう今やりたい。その分反発もすごい大きいし、めちゃくちゃ分断する。だからそういう意味ではいい面と悪い面がどっちもある日本は今すぐは変わらない変えたくない人の方が多いしその分だからそうそうそう、right? だからめちゃくちゃ時間がかかるわがまま、right? そうだけどその分反発もアメリカみたいにガーって反発来るわけじゃないからもうめちゃくちゃパッキリ二分されるみたいなことはないし社会全体が不安定になるみたいなこともないわけだよねだから、うん、そういう意味ではいい面と悪い面がどっちもあってまあだから人間の人間を主として動物として考えるとまあどっちの種類もあった方が全滅しない何か失敗しても全滅しないで済むからいいのかなっていうふうに最近もう俯瞰して思ってるけどただそうだからそのフェミニズムとかに関しても、うんすごい声を上げてる人っていうのは今すぐ変えないといけない変わらないといけないっていうスピードを求めてるわけで,でそれにはもちろんちゃんとした理由があるんだけど。What do you think about sort of global issues like what's going on in China or, or sort of, sort of、uh, what's going on with Taiwan or what ha- what's been happening with Hong Kong? I mean, these, there's a certain speed <laughs> that if you don't reach that speed, then you know, it's, it becomes a foregone conclusion、uh, with these issues, too. 
And so there's, there's speed, but there's also allocation of focus, allocation of energy, the yeah. prioritization. You yeah. know, if, if people are suffering in some region or dying in some part of the world right now, um, yeah, so at that's the hands the... of some oppressor, then, you know, are, are we focused on sort of a longer term problem like climate change or are we focused on this? Or are we focused on both? You know, the, the juggling of sort of activism's attention, I think, is, yeah. is I mean, a that... major obstacle. The last several years, is, is there's been a certain ADD aspect yeah, so that's to the... That's the Western way of thinking, right? So there are some Obe Tikina Kangai, the car, Dose Komoso, she, Uyghur, Uyghur, so, Myanmar, so, that kid, oh, Ima Kurushin de Rito Gaira, car, so, Ima Sugu, so, no Kurushin de Rito, Ishun de Mohaku, Kurushimin Karakai Honsa, and Akira by Kenai, so, not a many dosa, I got, two Kotojan. The son of a many wa, Tasho no Hampatsua, mo, Wari Kiru, so, Yada, they did Rito. よりも今苦しんでる人を優先するっていう考え方なわけだよね。だから日本はそれよりはこう全体の協調みたいなところを多分大事にしてるから、それも本当にいい悪いどっちがいい悪いってなかなか言い切れないというか、その苦しんでる
こう夫婦別姓にしたい人を困らせてやろうみたいな理由ではないんだよね単純に日本が壊れると本気で思っていて逆に言うと反対してる人も賛成してる人も日本を良くしたいより良くしたい幸せな人を増やしたいっていう意味では一緒なんだよねだからお互いアタックしても意味がないというかなぜならどっちもいいことをしているつもりだから<笑>っていうの、うん、それがみんなの利益になるってどっちも思ってるからだからそういう意味では反対してる人みんな死ねみたいな感じでも明日にでも推し進めるっていうのが果たして本当に全体にとって全体のピースにとっていいかっていうと。難しいよなと思うなんかその結果がアメリカじゃん,、うん、<笑>なんか何でもさっさと進める<笑>もう反発してる人がいようが何だろうがこれがいいことですって言ってスピーディーに進める結果ついてこれない人たちがたくさんいてその人たちの不満っていうのが溜まっていってなぜならその人たちも別に悪い意図があるわけじゃないから国のためみんなのためと思ってそういう主張を持ってるんだけどそれが無視されてるって感じるわけだからどんどん分断が深まって国民同士が歪み合うことになるっていう。だからそういう意味では本当に自分はなんだろう日本に住んでて英語が分かるしなんか欧米の考え方は最初は新しいからすごいいいなと思ったしうんそういうふうにスピーディーに物事が進むっていうのは理想的だなとかみんなが意見を持ってるっていうのはいいことだなと思ってたんだけどまあやっぱり全ての物事にはいい悪い両面あるなっていうか。その日本で例えばあんまりみんなが社会問題に意見がないとか政治にあんまり意見がないっていうのも本当にすごい悪いことかっていうとそういうわけでもないっていうか、まあ、そのおかげで得られてるいい面っていうのはもちろんあってアメリカみたいになってないっていうね。Well, <笑> I, I don't think you know you don't want to be you don't want to shove your head in the sand and, and not yeah, understand yeah, yeah. what's happening yeah, yeah, in global yeah, yeah. affairs because、ね、Japan Japan is not,、uh, it's not invincible. Yeah, of、And、course. The future yeah, of this country is not invincible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does require diligence on behalf of its citizens to yeah, yeah. maintain its integrity. News に全く興味を持たずに権力の決めることに全部従うみたいなのはいいとはもちろん思ってないんだけど、なんだろう、すべてのことに強い意見があるっていうのをすごくアイドライしがちっていうかね。Mm. あのわあすごい海外の人はみんなちゃんと何でもディベートもできるし意見があってすごいねみたいな感じで言って確かにね自分もずっとそう思ってたんだけどまあ最近の流れを見てると意外とまあ日本がこう平和なのには理由があるというか。What do you think is going to happen to Taiwan? Speaking of Heiwa. まあ香港がねもうもうなんていうの<笑><笑>戻ってしまったというかから、um. I don't know まあそのねオリンピックボイあの北京のオリンピックどうなるかみたいな話とかもあるし Do you think they'll boycott the, the Olympics there? I don't, I don't know think... what Japan's、uh... gonna do <laughs> the characters now, it's like Biden and Suga san, and oh gee. <laughs> I don't、yeah. know. I get nervous thinking about it. Japan will have to seriously like, look around and be like, <laughs> Japan does not have any military force. Japan spends less on its military per year than. Jeff Bezos' ex wife received in a, in a divorce settlement. <laughs> Literally, though. It spend, they spend less than $50 billion a year. And、uh, the United States is at, you know, on paper it's $700 billion, but they spend trillions.、Um, uh, and, and China spends a whole boatload of money on its military. Did you see this tweet that came out? Uh, a couple days ago, from this、uh, like Chinese version of、um, Boston Dynamics, where they had 
dogs, hundreds right? of these little robot dogs like all yeah. get up and yeah. at the same time and yeah I don't know <laughs> well something's going to happen right eventually yeah hopefully something good you know like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like everyone comes together and it's like wow we were really you know like the cold war cold war wasn't that bad well it wasn't it wasn't great but it could have been a lot worse um and people have been saying that we are entering into sort of a new cold war type era right and yeah the world's so different now and the forces that can be deployed upon other people are so different now. Um, but we're, we're, I don't know. I, I think the Hong Kong situation is sort of inevitable. And, uh, I do wonder as do many people about, you know, what might happen next. See so NASA's JPL, uh, NASA JPL's InSight lander has detected two strong quakes on Mars. The quakes were magnitude 3.3 and 3.1, detected on March 7th and 18th, respectively. The quakes originated in a region known as Cerberus Fosse. Two quakes previously recorded in the same region came in at magnitude 3.6 and magnitude 3.5 almost one year ago. Researchers are still unsure what is causing the earthquakes. While Mars does not have active tectonic plates, it does have some volcanic activity which could generate quakes. Taichi Kawamura, a researcher at France's Institut de Physique du Globe de Paris, <laughs> who helped provide the spacecraft seismometer, <laughs> describes the four quakes as surprisingly Earth-like and clearly distinct from the smaller, more moon-like quakes frequently recorded on Mars. So far, the InSight lander has recorded over 500 Mars quakes. NASA JPL の火星探査機 InSight が火星で2つの強い地震を検知しました。地震はマグニチュード 3.3 と 3.1 で、それぞれ3月7日と18日に検知され、ケルベルス地交帯と呼ばれる地域で発生していました。ほぼ1年前にも同じ地域で2つの地震が記録されておりその時はマグニチュード 3.6 と 3.5 でした地震の原因はまだ分かっていません火星には活発なプレートはないものの地震を引き起こす可能性のある火山活動は存在しています地震計を提供したパリ地球物理研究所の河村太一氏はこの4つの地震について驚くほど地球の地震に似ており火星で頻繁に記録されている月の地震のような小さいものとは明らかに異なると説明しています。これまでにインサイトは火星の地震を500回以上捉えています。Would you mind pronouncing the,、uh, the name of this institute?No, I won't embarrass myself.I'm <laughs> <laughs> lucky that there was a Japanese for it. パリ地球物理研究所。Um, so, I didn't have to struggle at all. But, Jishin, Kekko, are the Koto Ja. There are a lot of very small quakes.、Hmm. Um, those are sort of, those aren't from the core. Of, like, a lot more than Earth or a lot less? Oh, no. Earth has way, way more. Oh, okay. Earth has way more quakes.、Um, mostly because of the tectonic. Activity.、Hmm. But Mars doesn't have tectonic plates.、Um, but the quakes that they're recording、uh, are, seem like that kind of quake, as if it was a tectonic quake, but it couldn't be. Wait, so plates. There are plates, right? Like plates are there. <laughs> It's just、uh, that they're not active. The g o t o Like there are plates like Earth on Mars too. I only read that there's no, 
tectonic activity. So right. it, it's it's not that the the plates don't exist. I don't right? know if the plates exist or or don't exist. Um, yeah, mm. I I don't know either way. But I mean, it, it's conceivable that they would exist. That you know, tectonic activity could have been a thing on ancient or within ancient Mars mm. when its core was was more active. Um, yeah. So I, some people have speculated that the, the core of Mars is cooling and that's causing some contraction of materials, um, which is producing these quakes. Hmm. But yeah, we don't know if that's true either. And they've had some difficulty with the InSight lander. It has not performed as well as as we had hoped. Um, remember, we I think we talked about this lander and, and sort of described its functionality once before, but it had this drill, this mm. uh, mole probe that's supposed to be able to drill itself, um, I think, several meters deep into the Martian surface, but that thing did not work. <laughs> oh, and they they tried to drill and it would pop out and they tried to drill and they started pushing on it with one of the arms like shoving the drill into the ground while they're drilling and yeah they ended up i mean they eventually got the drill bit below the surface but um yeah they they've given up on the whole drill thing at this oh. point oh wait why didn't it work uh, I don't know. I think the soil is just different than mm. what they expected. So they would try to drill, but it just wasn't drilling because there wasn't enough friction. And the the worst thing about this is that it, it's a lander. It's not a rover. So the drill, if they could move the lander to some different type of soil, the drill would probably work fine. But they mm. just happened to land on some soil that they did not expect to find. Hmm. And then the drill didn't work in that soil that they landed on. And the the lander can't go anywhere. So it's that, a bust. That uh, just reminded me of this Netflix movie called Space Sweepers. Hmm. Space Sweepers? Yeah. Netflix movie is that does that have anything to do with Astro Scale? Right, that's or what no. you think, right? I was, and it's about space debris. Or that's what it says. So I was like, oh man, okay. this is so interesting, and I started watching it, and it was probably the worst movie I saw. I I saw like fifteen minutes maybe, and then stopped. Wait, the worst? Yeah. Or wait, worst. the the worst movie you've ever seen? Yeah, in the last, like, whatever, years. Wait, did you say this was on Netflix? Yeah, it's a new movie. Okay. Um, and in that, in that movie, there was a scene where... So, Earth is kind of broken. Like, people can't really live... It, it's like Elysium, you know? Where Earth is... <laughs> I don't is, remember anything about that movie. <laughs> okay, Earth is Is that the contaminated. Tom Cruise one? No, Matt Damon. Oh, okay. So, Earth is for poor people, and they make you know, this ISS is sticking out, but more like a planet hmm. so that rich people can just move there and live happily. And on this other planet in this new movie, um, this CEO of this new ISS type thing is farming and he was using Martian soil, waza waza, okay, for farming, which, I mean, I'm no expert, but didn't really make sense to me. Mm -hmm. Like, why would you use, you can, I mean, earth is way closer. So why wouldn't right. you, maybe, maybe soil doesn't exist on earth anymore in this world. I don't know, but maybe it's all contaminated. <sighs> maybe it's all filled with, I don't know, microplastics and maybe something. <laughs> Tire so particles. Sweepers, the masa ni astroscale jantamotte. Yeah, kekko. 
テンション上がって見たんだけど。It was the worst movie. That doesn't yeah, sound like, that bad. That, that, that what、like、you described were, wasn't enough to make it. Well, basically, the, the, main character, the main character is a scavenger hunter type. Well, basically, he's,、uh, he's not rich, but he has this falcon rock. Falcon, じゃないあれなんていうんだっけあれ Star Wars の Han Solo の Millennium Falcon? Yeah, Millennium Falcon みたいなのに乗って space, でかい space debris をマニュアルにキャッチするみたいな。Wait, he flies to each one and picks it up? Yeah, with a net. <laughs> But when he's flying around, he like hits some like satellites and I don't know, it was just he stupid. He hits a satellite <laughs> like on accident? Yeah. It was、wow. really stupid. <laughs> was, this, was it just really unrealistic? Or? Yeah. Yeah. That, and is that the main reason why it was bad? Yeah. I heard that Godzilla versus King Kong is good. Hmm. It looks so dumb. I don't know if I can watch that movie. That's a, that's a Hollywood movie?、Uh, must be, right? Ah, Nihon no janakute ってこと Yeah, because it's King Kong too, right? Doesn't. Ah, so, King Kong, 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 3つ頭があるそうドラゴンみたいなやつとゴジラが戦うやつ。Uh, yeah. Do you remember? Did you, did you used to like watch those at the theater when you were a child? Not at the theater. Oh, I don't know. 子供の時ゴジラの映画見に行くとね映画館にこのちっちゃいビニール袋に入ったゴジラの可愛いフィギュアがもらえたわけ。Hmm. で黒いやつに入ってるから開けるまで何が入ってるかわかんないんだけど。Uh-huh. それがめっちゃ好きだったんだよね。わかる人いないかな。でも多分同世代の人しかわかんないと思う。<笑> Do you still have it? No. It's probably worth a fortune. <笑> Maybe. You could probably NFT it. しかもさ、今考えると結構珍しくないその映画館に映画見に行って、そういうおもちゃみたいなのがもらえるってさ、あんまないよね。Yeah. でも、ゴジラの映画。Like そうゴジラの映画だけは見に行くと毎回それもらってたんだよね。うん、まあなん何の話って感じ。えー、次。Um, according to a paper published in Cell by researchers at MRC Laboratory of Molecular Biology in Cambridge, a key molecular switch exists which can trigger monkey brain organoids to grow more like human brain organoids. In their experiments, researchers grew brain organoids from human, gorilla, and chimpanzee stem cells and observed their growth. The human brain organoids grew much larger by maintaining their neural progenitor cells in a cylindrical shape, enabling them to replicate longer, resulting in more neurons and a larger brain. As the cells mature, they become conical and slow their replication. Human brains have approximately three times more neurons than gorilla or chimpanzee brains. The researchers found that a gene called ZEB2 was being activated earlier in gorilla and chimpanzee organoids, triggering the conification of progenitor cells. By delaying its activation, they were able to make gorilla brain organoids develop more like human brain organoids. Cell に掲載されたイギリスの MRC 分子生物学研究所の研究で、サルのノーオルガノイドが人間のノーオルガノイドのように成長するきっかけとなる分子スイッチが存在することが分かりました。実験では、人、ゴリラ、チンパンジーの幹細胞からノーオルガノイドを作り、それらの成長を観察しました。人のノーオルガノイドは神経前駆細胞を円形の筒状の形で維持することで長さを持って複製できるため結果としてニューロンが増えはるかに大きく成長しましたその後細胞が成熟するにつれ円錐形になり複製が遅くなりました人の脳はゴリラやチンパンジーの脳の約3倍のニューロンがありますチームは ZEB2 と呼ばれる遺伝子がゴリラとチンパンジーのノーオルガノイドではより早い段階で活性化し、前駆細胞への制限を引き起こしていることを発見しました。その活性化を遅らせることで
ゴリラのノーオルガノイドを人のノーオルガノイドのように発達させることに成功しましたこれめちゃくちゃ面白くない、yeah. well, it's, uh, the... すごい話じゃないノーオルガノイドバージョンの「プラネット・オブ・エイプス」Right? Yeah. And they actually did it. You know, they actually <laughs> took a, a, a gorilla no organoid. What, what is it in English? Bra- brain organoid. organoid?、Uh, yeah. And they changed the, the ZEB2 activation and it did what, what they expected. And the, the organoid presumably is, is smarter. Or at least it has more neurons and、mm. it's,、uh, it's larger. So, and that seems to also be potentially a large part of this, this missing answer as to why humans are different than monkeys in the first place. That yeah,、right? the <laughs> mechanism for human brain size、um, being so much larger and having so many more neurons than other primates.、Yeah. Could have something to do with the CEB too. I mean, very likely it does. It's probably not、yeah. the only factor, but this switch、um, seems to produce the, the differences that we observe between human and, and other ape brain development. Yeah. So, like, Ningen, so, Shinka no Kate, the Nand, the Ningen, the Koi Fini, not the no Kat, the you, no Gazit. ギモンというか謎としてあるわけだけどこの GB2 がどの段階で活性化するかっていうその何、mm-hmm. どのステージで活性化するかっていうのの違いっていうことでしょ it, it doesn't really explain why but it may explain a big part of how、hmm. the human brain was able to, to do that right Um, Isn't this like super huge? It's super huge, and I didn't really see any media talking about it. But right? It's like, a, it's like a huge deal. There's so much huge <laughs> stuff going on right now. But, yeah.、Um, yeah, so I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think they should just go ahead and start growing full size <laughs>、uh, intelligent、uh, chimpanzee brains or, or changing this gene in.、Uh, in Primates, but、um, certainly it seems like something interesting would happen if you did this to a monkey. Yeah. Do you think it would just go like the movie?、Um, is that movie realistic? I guess is my question. Planet of the Apes. I mean, either the original or the remake. Well, if. If we tweak their brain and they can, they will be able to become able to, well, to talk and stuff. I don't think we'll be friends. No. That's for sure. Because, I mean, look at the history, right? They're in the zoo. That's like the worst treatment ever. We were helping them, though. Why would they want to be friends with us? <laughs> I don't know. They seem nice to Jane Goodall. And, like, Yeah, that was before. <laughs> before all the. Before all the they woke. <laughs> I don't know. I, once, they, once they are woke, then they will resent us for sure. Is it immoral? Is it immoral for us to make a monkey super intelligent? Or is it immoral for us to withhold intelligence? From monkeys. I don't know. What, what, what happens would you do? just happens. I wouldn't do it. But <laughs> you wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it, but I would understand if some people want to do it just out of curiosity. In some country with very few regulations? Or out of resentment towards human race. Oh, you mean like a terrorist? Like someone would make smart monkeys as a, as a terrorist weapon? Did you finish reading the three body problem, the first one? I have not finished reading it. Okay, because there was another reference to that book that I just thought of. But Intelligent apes escaping from a lab? No. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> but just a no organoido. Kitterne. This、uh, this research team led by this、uh, Dr. Lancaster was actually the first.、Uh, well, it's not exactly the same team, but Dr. Lancaster led the first team that、uh, created brain organoids in the first place. Okay. So, this is cutting edge brain organoid research right here. Yeah. And <laughs> they've, they've,、um, observed that the.、Uh, Conification, I think that's a word. The, the, the cells becoming cone like in、uh, mice neural progenitor cells happens within around、uh, five hours or something. It's, it's within hours, it's less than a day in、okay. mice. So that means that the cylindrical cells become cone shaped,、um, which diminishes their ability to, to generate more、mm. neurons. Mm. Um, and that happens within less than a day in mice. Okay. And then in gorillas, that conification happens in five days. And then in human beings, it can take seven days. What happens if you delay that even further for humans? I don't know. There's probably some variation gonna... between human beings in. in In the expression of that gene, that,、right. that may affect、uh, the varying brain size between people. People have different sized brains, also.、Um, but yeah, if you artificially did that in a human being,、um, I don't know, you could, you could create some like just total superhumans, <laughs> brainiacs. But you know, their, their head would be physically larger, like it'd be very obvious. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That, that their brain's got some extra neurons going、right. on.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's, if someone volunteered for it, wouldn't it be fine for them to do that? Like that,、uh, that book. Author of the name, the name is the name of the name. Arrival, the name is the name of the name. Ted Chan. Oh. Ted Chan was a short story. He was a short story. He was a short story. He was a s h o r That was a really good story, but、hmm. Arrival is a very good story. It's 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 a very good story. Yeah, I recommend that book to anyone, but I don't know the story. I'm like, no, you're.、Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you need yeah, more yeah. neurons、oh, so you can remember. Story, story of your life. Story of your life is the title of the entire book, and then it has some brainiac、stories. in there. Yeah. It's a really interesting story. Hmm. I'd be scared to do that, actually. Oh, yeah. I mean, assuming that, let's say it works, right? It totally works. Let's say it costs, you know, like, yakumayan or something, right? <laughs> yes. You, yeah. you, you pay like <laughs> yakumayan, right? Yeah. And you go in, they got their Zeb2 machine, and <laughs> it flips some things in your, in your genes, and、uh, you start, your brain goes into this, this mode of, These cylindrical progenitor cells, or whatever, they're able to induce this in, a, in an adult, let's say.、Yeah. And your head starts, you know, you feel a, a slight headache and you have some cold、yeah. sweats for a couple days, but you just start getting so freaking smart. You start <laughs> understanding like the whole world more all at once. You're able to, like, we don't know what the limits of our comprehension and our, you know, like. Yeah, I- Individually, like, I can kind of imagine what it would be like if I was 30% smarter, you know? Yeah, you should definitely read this story because it's exactly about that. And this guy tries to、um, develop a new language because he quickly notices the limitation of the language that we're using.、Hmm. Um, it's not articulate enough at all、oh, yeah. for him. So,、um, Yeah, so the whole story is about 
about that and and it's really cool now i'm more interested in the new language that sounds like fun right but i guess that that Um, was sort of it's like you just transcend that was part of a rival right the new language yeah 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 i think it's the it's ted chan's theme i guess Hmm. um yeah i wouldn't want to do it though (laughs) I don't think it'll make, I mean, it might make me smarter, but I don't think it'll make me happier. I want to do it. I just don't want my head to be physically larger. <laughs> you know? <'Cause, laughs> yeah, sometimes I feel like my head is too heavy. Already? Yeah, like I tweak my neck and it's like, it's because <laughs> I'm balancing this noggin up here. Then you shouldn't do it. Maybe not. Did you see oh. uh, the email from uh, Sakurai san? Kazuki. No. Sakurai san. No. He sent us an email about Fermi Labs uh, muon uh, G minus 2 experiment. Okay. And I think the results were published yesterday or maybe the day before. But they were measuring the spin wobble. The wobble of the spin of muons and a muon is basically uh what do you call it a muon is one of these particles that um decays very quickly it's an unstable particle and uh it's basically like an electron except it's 200 times heavier anyways they created this electromagnetic superconducting racetrack and they fired these muons around this racetrack and they measured uh the spin wobble uh how much wobble i guess there is in these muons going around this racetrack and they found that something is interacting with the muons and giving them a different uh, a different wobble or spin then is predicted by the standard model. So the standard model of physics, particle physics, um, works for just about everything except for like gravity and doesn't explain some stuff like, I don't know, dark energy or dark matter and stuff. But, um, this experiment that they just published, um, it's a four sigma result, which means um, I don't remember the exact probability number, but it's it, it's extremely high confidence result. It's in like one out okay. of I don't remember like two hundred thousand or something crazy, one out of a million, something like that. Um, that this could be a statistical anomaly. Okay. Basically, what this means is that the standard model is likely going to be disrupted uh and changed very soon because they just put more power into these experiments they'll get more precision they'll get the five sigma that they need Mm -hmm. and then it'll it will be verified fairly soon that the muon is not uh what we thought it was that it has some there's some asymmetry in its behavior that's likely caused by a perturbation of some other subatomic particle, which we don't even know about. Hmm. So not only is the muon behaving weird, but there's probably some other particle yet undiscovered um, that this is hinting us to. Wow. And we haven't changed the standard model for over 50 years. Hmm. Well, we need to have him back on. Yeah, I mean, someone needs to explain what the hell is going on. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it's so crazy. Um, just last week or a few weeks ago, the Large Hadron Collider um, published something. Also, um, what was it? something about beauty quarks the large hadron collider found some um 
some sort of symmetry violation in the decay of beauty quarks into electrons and gluons. So it was assumed that beauty quarks would decay into equal parts electrons and gluons, but it was unequal. That also disrupts the standard model. Okay. So we've got these two potential disruptions of standard disruptions of the standard model that are high confidence. Um, and right now there's a huge debate on the expansion rate of the universe um, based on the CMB measurements versus mm. these like uh, lensing measurements and other sort of more observational measurements. All of this stuff is starting to come together, I right. think. I mean, we're seeing more and more hints from different angles Hmm. Um, the, the, the universe expansion rate debate is, is really heating up. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but if we find out some crazy weirdo, <laughs> like quantum, <laughs> some new subatomic particle, I don't know. We could all be levitating in our chairs in a few years. Who knows? We'll see. Yeah. We have to have him back on and ask a million of million questions. Did you see the black hole image? They took a new one with the New Horizons. No. The new picture of the black hole is the same black hole, M87. But you can actually see the magnetic field lines in the picture. It's like a high-resolution vi- version of the oh, old wow. photo. So okay. it, it looks really crazy. We should uh, post it somewhere. Yeah. Uh, to, the text is a Android, iPhone, iPad, Mac, and so check it out. It's a text that's 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 a あと冒頭でお伝えした通りバイリンガルニュース.jp公式サイトで新しい<笑>